And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some hoarding treasures. We're going to be going with Meme Tier Tuesday today. Usually we have Meme Tier Monday, which we did yesterday, but we're going with some more Meme Tier decks all day today. We had four more donation decks. That's what the two Ds here stand for from viewers for some cool Meme Tier decks. Um, so that's what we got going on. So this one we are going to be, uh, this one's going to be all about Shipwreck Hoarder getting treasures. So of course, y'all know this card, whenever it's summoned, you toss two and then you shuffle two of these treasures into your deck. And all these treasures are super powerful. And that's what our deck's about, is getting lots of shipwreck orders. So three's not enough. We need Chronicler of Ruin that can kill the shipwreck order, bring it back. We get, we get another trigger there with Chronicler of Ruin. Sorry, early in the morning. All right, we got Splinter Soul that can copy shipwreck order and uh, you know, make it a 1-1. A great combination is if we can have Splinter Soul and Chronicler of Ruin, because then if you have both these together, you can make the 1-1 Shipwreck Order and then have Chronicler kill the 1-1 and bring it back as a brand new 7-5 um, Shipwreck Order. So we got those two. We also have Mist Call. So if our Shipwreck Order dies, we can bring it back. Um, you know, If we can use anything to make it die, we can bring it back. Um, and then we also have Fading Memories, where we can uh, copy Shipwreck Order with Fading Memories, play it. It's ephemeral. Um, maybe we can maybe we can pair Fading Memories with Chronicler of Ruin or Mystical, help bring them back. We got a couple of Lure of the Depths to go find um, Shipwreck Order, right? It's a draw sea monster, so this is just going to tutor up uh, Shipwreck Order for us. And then also make them cost less, so that's going to be uh, pretty important and that's kind of about it and then you know we just have like some interaction we got some early stuff to kind of um get the opponent focused on our early stuff buy us some time uh where we can play shipwreck order and um start getting some treasures all right so that's our first deck of the day let's go have some fun meme tier tuesdays we're gonna go play over in normal all right let's see how we do We got ooh, not a bad hand. Sedgewadi Gangplank. Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna Mulligan Grasp and Chronicler. I'll keep Callista Call. Because Callista seems like a pretty one pretty good one to missed call as well. Well, we didn't really draw the early parts of our deck after keeping these two three mana cards. Nine, nine, seven. Yeah, so they have they have make it rain. It certainly looks like. Cool. RV. Don't bark. Big truck move that just drove by, like a construction truck. I don't know. I don't know if I should be using the Mist Call right now because we could use it with Shipwreck Order. But it is another Callista. Right? Like, we shouldn't be too mad at another Callista. Okay, cool. We got another Mist Call. So I can cast both Lure of the Depths. Neither the flames nor the depths can claim me. We'll cast one of them. We need to set up and just play Ruination next turn. Hmm. 
everyone pays. We shall return. This is basically just ruination kill on a gangplank, for the most part. Let's go with the shipwreck order. Now I didn't I didn't play the other lure because we'd already be able to play shipwreck order anyway, and so I just have miscall or I have like the extra mana for ruination. You know, we don't really need that that other lure right now. You know, I like being able to save you know, be able to save extra mana, so if we want to ruination next turn, right, if they go like Sejuani here and have stuff like that. Alright, what do we just toss? Splinter Soul and Grasp. Safety will cost you. Oh no, they better not have stolen my treasure. If they yoink a treasure, that's just mean. Oh no. Well, that's not good. Okay, great draw. Otherwise, we'd be very dead. So, great draw. Oh, I guess we're still very dead. Well, that's too bad. Okay, own one. Didn't have didn't have enough time with our um, with our sea monsters. Hey dice, GG's. Okay, so we have shipwreck hoarder and then the splinter soul chronicler of ruin combo. So like we have a really good turn like seven and turn eight <laughs> with this opening hand. We're probably supposed to do stuff before turn 7 and turn 8. Though, probably. Uh, I'll just keep shipwreck order. Okay, well now we got some some random three drops to try to help slow the game down, give us time. Kinda wanna play Jaw Hunters. Star Wars here is really good. No, let's do this. Well, there's only two Lure of the Depths. <laughs> They're out there. I'll spot them. There you go, homeowner. I like it. Meme at tier, uh, Meme at Tuesday is in there. Two is a T W O is in our second. The winter's meme tier strikes. day. I like it. I like it. Uh, now, what am I gonna do? Hmm. Oh, do you want to go back to work? I need more hands. Ha. Leave nothing <laughs> they still attacked? Okay, yeah, I was like, what? Can't attack. Well, I mean, I guess they can, but... Tear Deck Splinter Soul is so bad. Well, it, it pairs perfectly with Chronicler of Ruin. 
you ever get to do that. Those two pair really well together. All right, this could be a fading memories. Um, no. Ah, this would be a good winter. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. I feel like they have Fury of the North for like kind of how they've been playing. Uh, that's a lot worse for us than Fury of the North. Okay, perfect. We got the Splinter Soul Chronicler of Ruin combo. Pretty big Ruthless Raider. Nothing escapes my watch. Get some defense with this Avarosan sentry. All right. Let's get started. Oh no, we tossed a shipwreck order. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. So next turn we can splinter soul it and go chronicler of ruin. The winter's claw. Mm. Why they gotta be attacking so much? Why they gotta be attacking so much? Oh, I just haven't even been paying attention to my elusive Poro. Sure, I guess I could have attacked with that a couple of times. Stop. Oh, that makes things a lot worse for us. Because now I have nothing to do. Yeah, that killed the dream. And we tossed, and like with the toss two, we tossed one also. So it really killed the dream. They just played two Sejuani's Fury of the Norths? They played the previous attack turn, they played a Sejuani Fury of the North. So they've drawn four Sejuani's. I do see people at normal do like the BM waves and stuff more than um, more than other people, which is kind of weird.
Oh, really? In gold, you see a bunch of BM waves like that? Oh, uh, because you're using Teemo? Yeah, that's, it does seem like that, right? Like when you use like some meme tier decks, people get more excited that they win. Uh, I had such a good setup, too, just the Shipwreck Hoarder. I wish I would have passed priority instead of playing the Shipwreck Hoarder, and maybe they played the Sejuani, and I could have Ruination first, and then played Shipwreck Hoarder and all this stuff. But it turned out they would have had millions of Sejuanis. I know what lurks in the shadows. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day! All right, so I'll be at two, so I don't die to one. I don't die to one, um, puff cap. That's a good one. Fight or die. <laughs> Who goes there? Oh, that's a harvest right there. Ah, an auspicious season. Leave nothing standing. Okay, block there, block here, block here, block here. Actually, maybe it's better to block with the two Elises than I can just replay this other Elise. Alright, I'm gonna mute the opponent. Yeah, we have 20 pop caps. Stare at me at this. It'll stare back. I in every shadow. Okay. Let's see what we get. That is true. The Abyssal Eye, I don't want to draw cards because we got all the pop caps. It's a good call, so. I guess I don't really want to attack with that abyssal eye, do I? Uh, not the most help. Okay, so I'll kill the abyssal eye and get a seven drop. We'll start there. I guess we'll see what we want to do after that. Okay, what's up? Windfarer Hatchling, I guess I could have had one of these things in first. Oh. Okay, own two. That was the the turn seven. I, you know, I really wanted to play my shipwreck hoarder, but I should have waited on the shipwreck hoarder, tried to ruination first, and then play. But still, I don't know. I don't know how that would have really worked out with all the ruination, with all the Sejuani's and everything. 
they did a great job of drawing Sejuani, drawing four of them. And those Fury of the Norths were too furious. Hey Nakano, yep, doing good, doing good. All right, so this is probably like the the deck with no champions is probably it's probably a the undying deck. And if it is a the undying deck, yeah, I mean this just the the undying. I keep in the fading memories like where I can I can copy there the undying, make it ephemeral. It'll be a three three. We could use a bite. Make it worth my while. <gasps> yeah, I mean this this deck's been a, been lo around longer than yesterday. We we've, we've played this deck a couple of times. Danger paid on stream. So gotta love the Jaw Hunters that creates the Shipwreck Hoarder. And I can Chronicler of Ruin kill... Hmm. I can kill one of these to... Uh, keep it from being vulnerable, right? Like maybe I want to kill the Elise and it's not vulnerable anymore. So I can't challenge it. I probably want to do that. Even though it would be cool to kill the Jaw Hunters and then create another sea monster. Oh, well, never mind. Surprised they didn't kill the Jaw Hunters. I am planning on fading memories, the Jaw Hunters. I am planning on doing that. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Go and harvest him. Yeah. A little surprised at that block. It's just three damage. Son of a Um I wonder if we can out Undying the Undying deck. Possible. Don't stand in my way. Darn, I was really hoping they would attack there. And I'd be able to block with my 3-1, have the 3-1 die also, and have both these die level up the Callista.
All right, that's fine. We got an atrocity out of their hand. That's good. Did get an atrocity out of their hand. Um, would have been a nice turn to Jaw Hunters, you know, challenge before it died. And then also have Chronicler, like, you know, Chronicler could kill, like, the Undying and stuff. But our deck is all about Shipwreck Hoarder, right, and getting treasures. Like, that's what we're supposed to be about. And so that's what I'm going to be trying to do here. I'm going to be trying to go Shipwreck Hoarder and a lot of treasures. So they kill that one, but we got a backup. So I can play it, then we can go Chronicler and Chronicler and keep killing our Shipwreck Hoarder, keep bringing it back, keep doing the Toss 2, Shuffle 2 treasures. Because that Toss 2 really does help you draw the treasures pretty quickly also. Sacrifice for a greater Whenever an ally dies, refill your spell mana. See? Told you. Does a good job of helping you draw the treasures. Okay, so we're going to... Chronicler? Hey, how about that? Got some more treasures. And that was very... I'll, I'll just go and play a treasure instead. That was very nice of them to clear up that space for me to, to give me another... Give me some room for these vicious plate worms. You think it's ruination? It could be. We'll be fine. We got a lot of stuff still. Attack. You delay my masterpiece. I mean, I can only have six things in play at a time. Even if they do have ruination, which isn't super likely because it's like, well, like a one or a two of in the deck. Even if they do have it, it's like I still have three vicious plate worms, these petty officers, chronicler with the jaw hunters, getting more sea monsters in hand. We'll still be fine. Oh, darn, it died. Oh wait, it's back. I think I keep them from drawing two cards. Whenever we have all this stuff already in play. Keep them from drawing two. Are you getting treasures? Ah, no treasure. Our deck is our deck is just filled with treasures <laughs> right now. Wait, I need. There we go. I need the shipwreck hoarder to do lethal damage. It's got to be the one. It's got to be the thing to kill. There we go, hoarding the treasures. Uh, if, what's good against Championless Undying? You just gotta be aggressive. Basically any any aggro deck. Uh, but not like super small. Like, you know, basically like 
Ash Sejuani, you're great there. But like, just you know, you want to be a, a good aggressive deck because you want to make the can't block part of the Undying really matter. Yeah, Demacia. Yeah, sure. The aggressive deck. Draven Jinx. Usually I'd mulligan Grasp, but I think against Draven Jinx, Grasp is going to be pretty good. And I think that um, keeping two Elise is kind of nice. Like, we're our first Elise, we can have die fairly easily, and then we'll have the second one. I suppose I could cast Crawling Sensation, but maybe I should with them. They're going pretty wide here. If I do cast Crawling Sensation, then I cannot play Grasp on turn four. Because like right now, my next turn is going to be Petty Officer on turn three, and then turn four, I could have Grasp the Undying, but I don't have that option if I cast this. That's a couple of turns down the road. We'll have a couple more cards to draw before then. I'll go and cast with with their hand with all of these one ones and everything. I'm going to go ahead and cast it. Well, good thing we're drawing all of our nine drops early in the game, like our first loss. doesn't look like a good attack. But I'll take it. Yep, I'll take it. Hey, how about that? We had something to do on turn four. That's what I meant by the how about that. Darn. Never mind. That's what a, that was what I was gonna, you know, kill and revive was that at least to turn it back into being a two three. So maybe it's better just to save this mana kinda towards ruination. I don't really see this chronicler doing a whole lot right now. You can save it. Time for the main event. Okay. Two and two. So again, I could have gone at least there and then done the Grasp during combat. I didn't do that because, one, they could have another Draven in hand for Whirling Death. Well, actually, I don't know if they had the mana for that. I don't think they did. But really, the, the main reason was that I just saved the extra three spell mana. Don't play Elise. Save the spell mana. Next turn, on turn six, I could cast Ruination. And then I could go with the Shipwreck Horde or turn seven and go from there. Uh, Noxus. I don't... I don't know if Vile Feast is actually good against Noxus. I guess we're going to find out. We're really going to find out. Really? Where are you? We are really going to find out. Is Vile Feast good against Noxus? Google search. I'll try anyone one. Yo, yuck. Yuck. Not looking like it. Nothing can stop me. All hands on deck. 
All right, so good. So we got something to deal with the Crimson Disciple. That's good. I'm not scared of this 5-4, like, with... With these hapless aristocrats and vile feasts and everything, we can just sit in front of this 5 4 all day. I'm not worried about that card one bit unless they start playing Might or Overwhelm or whatever. It won't feel like first. I should I should be attack that should be attack with Petty Officer too. Uh hmm. So yep, needed to save mana to be able to have vengeance this turn because I was definitely worried about Cat of the Arm. Uh, all right, so I guess we'll block here. Oh right, uh, here just. Uh, wait, no, so that a vile feast will kill this thing in next turn. It's not perfect with this Trifarian. I was, I was hoping that they would go on the Precious Pet for some reason. That's what I was hoping. If I Vile Feast this thing right now, does my spider go away, or do I still get the spider? I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess it does kind of matter. I guess I may need to Vile Feast this thing, actually. In a future turns. Wait, wait, oh, if I would have... Would that, a thi would that thing have fizzled if I would have killed my own spiderling? Oh, is that is that what y'all are talking about in, in chat? Would that have fizzled if I would have killed my own spiderling? Okay, no, it would not fizzle. Okay, so they would still get the bonus, so it would not fizzle. I don't have room. Okay, cool. Yeah, I could have attacked with, like, the spiders first, but I want to attack with shipwreck hoarders because they're a lot bigger. Man, if only I, have an, if only I had a fourth Vile Feast. Okay, that's a fourth Vile Feast. Mm, 
No. Let's say that could win us this game. That grasp almost won us that game. If it wasn't for the might. That stun plus give everything plus two when they had the overwhelms. I mean, really, it was the second Cato. Like, that's that's really what won on that game was the second Cato the arm. Um, being able to, you know, like, they had the first one. We had the vengeance for the first one. But then they had a second Cato the arm. And uh, that second one was just too power powerful with the Trifarian, the reckless Trifarian. So there we go, yeah, so they've got to do some cool, you know, there's like some cool Shipwreck Hoarder, um, Chronicler of Ruin stuff. We, we kind of struggled staying alive and, you know, being able to play a long game with that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not really, as you saw with that game, I'm just not really sold that like Hapless Aristocrat, Elise, Vile Feast, like any of this stuff is worth it at all. Like if this, if, like that this is good enough defense. Um, it's just so easy to it's so easy to beat one ones as you saw with that game and I'm not I'm not really sold like it was great against the discard deck I suppose like against the that discard aggro that they just go wide with really small things that was great great there um, but yeah so there we go so there's hoarding treasures those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.